Project NEON will reduce freeway traffic congestion, improve surrounding local street networks, and enhance safety for motorists in the very first phase. Phase one of Project NEON will create an expanded and improved high occupancy vehicle or HOV system and reconstruct the Charleston interchange as well as improve safety and movement on local streets. The first phase of Project NEON will include improvements to the HOV system. Currently, there are nine miles of express lanes between Silverado Ranch Road and Sahara Avenue, and 10 miles of HOV lanes on US 95 between Rancho Road and Ann Road. However, these lanes are not connected, and motorists in the HOV lane must weave across the general lanes to use the existing congested ramps between US-95 and I-15. Phase 1 will directly connect these two routes to create a continuous 22-mile HOV system to improve the commutes for motorists using these heavily traveled roads. To connect the HOV lanes to the express lanes, Phase 1 includes a new bridge that will be nearly a mile long within the Spaghetti Bowl. Vehicles in the inside HOV lane will be able to move directly onto the new bridge at Symphony Parkway on I-15 and Rancho Road on US-95. A new HOV interchange will also be built at the I-15 corridor, just south of Charleston Boulevard. Motorists in the HOV lanes will be able to directly connect to and from the local streets. In addition, this new interchange will relieve congestion on the heavily used adjacent Charleston and Sahara interchanges and provide future opportunities for enhanced express bus transit services for Las Vegas transit users. Access at the existing Charleston Boulevard interchange will also be improved. Currently, northbound motorists on I-15 from Charleston Boulevard must make a left turn onto Grand Central Parkway, followed by a full turn through the Iron Horse Loop and then access the ramp facing west. The movement from northbound I-15 to westbound Charleston Boulevard is equally inefficient for motorists because it also exits to Grand Central Parkway before requiring two right turns to complete the movement. To solve these issues, new exit ramps will bring traffic directly to Charleston Boulevard and provide left, right, and through movements directly at Charleston Boulevard. Other portions of Phase 1 will improve access to the downtown area. Martin Luther King Boulevard is currently combined with the I-15 ramps between Alta Drive and Oakey Boulevard. The improvements in Phase 1 will convert Martin Luther King Boulevard into a one-way couplet. Traffic southbound on Martin Luther King Boulevard will be able to merge directly with the southbound I-15 exit ramp to access Charleston Boulevard without a traffic signal. The northbound traffic will use the new express ramp from the northbound entrance ramp on I-15 to Alta Drive. The local street network will also be improved during Phase 1. Wall Street under I-15 will be permanently closed. Traffic is frequently blocked by trains at the Oakey Railroad crossing so a new and improved connection between Grand Central Parkway and Industrial Road will be built. Grand Central Parkway will be elevated over Charleston Boulevard and the Union Pacific Railroad and connect to Industrial Road at Oakey Boulevard. This new construction will create a reliable route from downtown through to Russell Road, parallel to I-15. This new route will also be connected to Charleston Boulevard using circular ramps to create complete north and south access at Charleston Boulevard. Western Avenue will share an intersection on the new corridor with the Charleston Boulevard South Ramp 
and create a safe and efficient outlet for the new HOV interchange through this area. The new connection will also provide enough expansion for the current express bus service on Grand Central Parkway to be extended into the Industrial Road Corridor and will provide excellent access for commuters to the Resort Corridor Employment Centers. Phase 1 of Project NEON Driving Las Vegas Forward